from a goalie stick, being the main reason that a brawl started in the stands to a goalie falling as he charges onto the ice and a response to a Bronx cheer in a longer than usual bathroom break. There have been some weird moments involving goaltenders. The men who stop pucks have always been considered weird. In fact, sometimes locker room chatter even brings up a valid point that hey, they must be getting pucks shot to their head all the time, so therefore how many concussions do they have? Too many to even count. I'm just kidding. I don't know. But only someone really weird would willingly stand in front of projectiles that are sometimes going over a hundred miles an hour. Am I right? These are the weirdest goalie moments in the history of the National Hockey League. The first one is the Boston Bruins tandem of Linus Olmer and Jeremy Swayman. They came up with a synchronized celebration after each of the team's victories during the 2022-23 season in which the Bruins broke the all-time record for the most wins and most points in a season. Andrew Raycroft makes a few points out of his own here to fans who once booed him. As a member of the Canucks, he comes into a game against the team he formerly played for, the Leafs in Toronto. He immediately begins to give it right back to the Maple Leafs fans, even skating over to talk to some individually. And I don't think it was very nice talk either. He's going to talk to them all individually. <laughs> He's going to go and get his pound of flesh. In the next one, the fans are providing a goaltender with a few burgers after the game. During his time as an Ottawa Senator, Andrew Hammond was nicknamed the Hamburglar because when the team went into tear of them in the net, Ottawa fans began to throw McDonald's cheeseburgers onto the ice. And as you see in this clip, he decided he would be a good idea to pick one off the ice after being recognized as the first star. A post-game snack, or maybe it's his whole meal. I don't know. He's loving the fans and he picks up a hamburger off the ice. <laughs> throwing hamburgers. Next stop, we got a goaltender throwing something into the fence. After a milestone win, a New York Rangers goaltender by the name of Henrik Lundqvist throws his goalie stick into the stands in celebration of the MSG, right after he takes a pause as the first star. But instead of it going to the person he wanted it to, or maybe it did, a group of fans began a fight for the stick. Security had to get involved and give the stick back to end the melee. And after a subsequent game, Lundqvist fakes like he's going to throw it again, but he doesn't want nobody to get hurt, he doesn't want no drunk fool to hit a child, so he decided, hey, I'm just gonna laugh it off in the locker room and say F you to all you drunk losers watching me play hockey. Appearances ever, the other for most saves ever, and the souvenir which starts. All right, coming into the dressing room, Mark andre Fleury is so fired up about the start of the 2008 Stanley Cup Final that he trips and falls onto the ice as he and the rest of the Pittsburgh Penguins take the ice. Who knows? Maybe taking a nosedive into the ice is just a common superstition that means you're gonna win the game, even though you probably have a broken nose. Goalies used to play with broken noses all the time, am I right? More points in the standings, but this is the team and Marc-Andre Fleury leading his team out. The Washington Capitals, TJ Oshie. One of the most prolific shootout shooters in the game, but in this video, he's the one caught off guard. Because a Boston goaltender by the name of Anton Kudobin uses this unorthodox move of putting his glove down between the pads to confuse Oshi. But the Minnesota Wild's Marion Gaborik is really surprised on this breakaway. And that's because the Detroit Red Wings goaltender by the name of Dominic Hasek catches Gaborik with his head down, changes out and slides in front of Gaborik to attempt to knock the puck off his stick, so we think. But he instead flips Gaborik into the air for a full somersault in the process. And despite protesting to the ref saying this was just a stunt because I want this guy to be the next Evil Knievel of hockey, the ref decided, ah, no 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 Mr. Dominator, you're going to the sin bin for two. Unfortunately, goaltenders don't go to the sin bin, so somebody else had to serve for him. What a lucky guy, huh? The puck was available, and all breaks 
steps out in back of the goal, and it looks like... During a stoppage in play, Montreal Canadiens puck stopper by the name of Carey Price is surprising and delightful for a young fan that's posing for a quick selfie as he hangs out by the team's bench. That is, that is outstanding. He's made 30 <laughs> saves. He's got a shot out. Murray here, this time as a member of the Vegas Golden Knights, is also trying to have a little bit of fun. But by using his stick to shovel his driveway, and by that I mean the crease, he put a little bit of snow on the goal line. And why? Because every barrier you can put up against the puck crossing that goal line, no matter how slight it is, works. Right? But the linesmen were not having it. They removed the ice chips, no matter how slight, and the referee, who was laughing, told the Golden Knights head coach, Gary Gallant, that Flurry couldn't do that, and everyone had a few chuckles. Price is back, and this time it ain't no laughing matter. He's being forced to make a spectacular save right here. The last one is so good that teammate P.K. Subban a pat in the back of the crease. However, the Blackhawks goaltender, Marty Turco, removes some back support from the St. Louis Blues' Roman Palak. Turco opens the bench door right after Palak has been knocked against, and of course, Palak tumbles backwards into the opponent's bench. Aside from being both great goalies for the Montreal Canadiens, Patrick Waugh and Price have both had the same reactions to a Bronx cheer from Canadiens fans in two different buildings. Icing call. You see what happened? Roman is leading against the Blackhawks bench. Here, in the old Montreal Forum, as the Montreal Canadiens are being hammered by the Detroit Red Wings. Wall gets the sarcastic applause after stopping this easy shot from Sergei Fedorov from center ice. And this is his reaction. Yeah. Patrick Wall responds, he did not appreciate that. A few years later, and now at the Bell Center, Price is also struggling and stops an easy shot from the neutral zone. Another Bronx cheer. And Price, he had the same response as Wall. For the New Jersey Devils goaltender Mackenzie Blackwood, the fans aren't the problem here. But instead, the Gatorade bottle is. It comes off as he's taking a drink during the break in the action, and liquid spills all over his face. Oh, isn't that some nice refreshment? And it's a little bit sticky as well. Why not? And guess what? We're back to Mr. Flower. This time, as he throws a puck to the fan, the fan misses the puck. But not to worry, it bounces off the head of another unsuspecting fan, giving the first fan yet another chance for the catch. But he misses it again. At least, he can pick it up off the floor. Patrick Waugh makes another appearance in this video. In this one, he picks up the puck and skates down the ice with it. He even makes a move to avoid the great one, Mr. Wayne Gretzky. And then he makes another move to pass a different New York Rangers player. And once he passes that center red line, he gets a penalty and unfortunately, his one and only breakaway opportunity has come to an end. But what's the problem, he seems to ask. <laughs> the problem is that a goaltender cannot make contact with the puck on the other side of the red line. Dobin, here, a member of the Carolina Hurricanes, can't seem to be able to get off the ice. After the help of a couple teammates, he finally does though. Anyways, speaking of repeat goaltenders, guess who it is? The Flower himself. And this time, he's showing just how agile he is off the ice as he is on it, as he does a cartwheel wearing all of his equipment just before the Penguins pregame warmups. He even got the pedals this time. The Capitals Craig Anderson winds up by doing a bit of a gymnastic move by slowly falling backwards, but it's not on purpose. The net from behind has been dislodged without his knowledge, and this is the result. Okay, okay, okay. Even I'm getting a little bit tired of this flurry guy. Here he's so graceful that a shot hits the goalpost from behind him. So he goes back and kisses the goalpost. Bro, I thought that was your best friend. You're not supposed to kiss it. Oh. The Dallas Stars goaltender, 
Gary Lateden is grateful to the entire net. And that's because it gives him somewhere to sit and chill out during a stoppage of play. Sometimes, you gotta take a break no matter what, and no matter how long it takes. So, during the 2007 Stanley Cup playoffs, the Vancouver Canucks goaltender, Roberto Luongo, has to go to the bathroom between regulation and in the beginning of overtime. In fact, his bathroom break takes so long that he couldn't return to the start of the overtime period and the Canucks had to start the extra period with the backup goaltender Danny Subarin in net. But Luongo did return. However, he has never revealed exactly what he ate that day. So, we know why Luongo had to leave his net. But it's not clear why Boston Bruins goaltender Tuka Rask leaves the net here and heads for the Boston bench. But he's told from the bench to go back in the net. And thankfully for the Bruins, he does. What was this problem? Was he just like out of place, out of time? Forgot where he was? Finally, Patrick Wall returns, and this time in a war of words with the Chicago Blackhawks' Jeremy Roenick. And leave it to Wall to have the last word. So, there you have it. The weirdest goalie moments in NHL history. Comment your favorite weird goaltender moment you saw, and if we missed something, let us know in the chatterbox area below. If you liked this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.